think you know, are the biggest problem. But the cocktail has benefited me in so many ways. Like, women bring your money to me and buy me gifts and shit with it and food. And get more gifts. Things I shouldn't talk about. You know, they, like all the stuff that the cuck, they wish the cuck could have been, but he can't be because he's a cock and not a man. Like, they will take, they take your money and then they go buy that man with it. I know this 70 year old nasty looking woman. Nasty, dude. It is so sick to think of this person in this manner. It is like, this is disgusting for me to have to think this and tell you, but she claimed some man was talking to her and showed pictures of her and all this and of him and she was like dressing up for him in like sexy outfits and this is like in a, like when we're talking American like we're not talking some some possible hot European milk we're talking America, it's like these people are huge. Like I, I'm not representative of American. Like this whole, you know, having, having like a gut that's smaller than your top part that doesn't exist in reality. Like their guts are like, bah! and then their jaws are like, bah! from all the chip nuts. You know, they store food in their mouth like chipmunks. Apparently, and they, like they store food in their guts. And, uh, ooh. luckily I'm on medication or I'd be getting nauseous, but, but this fucking house size heifer just looks like, like, go grab some butter from your fridge and play with it in your hands for a few minutes and then throw it on the, you know, because you, you're going to have to, like, shake it off because butter sticks to your hands and stuff. Like, or wipe it off. Do whatever you want. Onto a counter. Take a picture of it. And then put a couple eyes on it and a couple pieces of hair. And put a couple fat, you know, draw a couple titties on it and a slot. And now try to whack off to that. And let me know how that works for you. That would be hotter than this. Because this person is just ugly on so many levels. And, and the butter at least doesn't talk and show you. It has an ugly attitude and everything. And this person was stealing their husband's money to go have sex with another Man, I mean, ooh, I'm, I don't, I don't want to de degrade the man because here I am talking about benefiting from cocktail, and so I'm just like, damn, is this dude like me? Like, whoa, has he fallen to have to cock out this bitch? But it's so, it's so real. It, it's really what's happening. Like I've literally. Live with girls who are living with their boyfriends, and like at, at the time, I wasn't like in a thinking. There became a stage in my life where I stopped being a thinker and I started being a talker. Like, for most people, that's about one year old. You stop thinking and you start talking, and the thought and understanding is completely over. So, you've never understood anything since then. Um, and that actually, there actually is either that point where you share your knowledge or you just continue to learn knowledge. So that that's the difference between a thinker and a talker is two separate people. One can no longer think and one can no longer talk if you're busy thinking. If, you, if you're busy, you know, formulating, doing you can't talk. Talking is the opposite. Like when I'm doing this video, I'm doing absolutely nothing for me. This is all for someone else. Um, 
I mean, there might be mild effects coming back, but at the end of the day, like, you know, this is an hour I could spend, like, modeling some clothes, making, like, a thousand dollars or something, right? Um, was once told I had fingers, I could model, but guitaring uh, stretches your fingers out. So I don't think necessarily, although they probably look better than others, I could model my hands in the past, but the time ties into all this. The value of your time ties into all this as well. And that's exactly why the women need cucks. So the cuck can provide them with money so they can go have fun. Like, think of it this way. Madonna cucks the world. Like the world. Marilyn Monroe cucks the world. She even cucked the president wrecked his, blackmailed him. And we know who she was probably working for, the, the Jewish people that she had sex with for money and married. She was cucking them out, but she was being cucked too. I mean, and none of these, I don't think none of these higher class males uh, fall for the cucking. Now, you can accidentally become like a lawyer who makes a lot of money through a robbery system, or you could be a cop who's just an idiot making a lot of money stealing, and you had a low IQ, and you'd be cucked the fuck out, but generally, if you get to, like, the rich elite, I assume people like Donald Trump, Donald Trump, you know, pimps the shit out of hoes. That's why he dates them for three years and throws them in the garbage, because their use is far beyond up. Like, he gets with women whose only use is popping a baby out their hole. Like, they're not even smart enough to raise a kid. I don't think they're not even smart enough. Like, the one can't even speak English. So he just orders a hoe to impregnate to spread his seed. That's his joy to the world and all that. So he, you know, these people in these higher up positions are probably cucking the women out. Um, but... They don't allow that 100%, I'm sure of it. Like, that's why they eventually try to tag him and defame him. And that's why the prostitute he had sex with, uh, Stormy Daniels, uh, you know, tries to attack him and make money off him because she's just, she feels used up because she got used by the fucking orangutan, by the fucking orangutan Jew. It's got to be a sad day in your life when you realize you're Marilyn Monroe or Stormy Daniels and you're just a prostitute. No matter how good you are at pimping men for their money, you're still just a prostitute. But the cycle keeps going on and on and on. And there's this new thing where you cry about it. So it's even a topic. It's a, but, but none of these MGTOW people or anti-cuck people, they, like I say, these people are the cucks. They're just whining about cuckdom. They're whining about how they've been cucked. And it's like me, I can't whine about how I've been cucked. Because it was disgusting when I seen them do it to everyone else, yet alone. It wasn't done to me. Like... Like, women try to. Like, after, like, two to three years of a relationship, uh, they seem to realize, like, wait a minute, I'm not, I'm not cucking this motherfucker out like I used to. There's no more of that guitar and drums. I want to listen to pussy music because I'm a faggot and I lied to you about being hardcore so you would fuck me and get with me. And now you're not, now I'm not pimping you out and I'm not making all that money that you're making and I'm not making any of it and, and so they start stealing from you even when you meet a whore even when a strong man meets a whore the whore continues to try to be a whore but her love of the strong man is simply that he does not bow to her bullshit like everyone else in the world has like like, um, you know, there's this feeling or sentiment that people who fear you, it's better to be feared than respected, it, or, you know, it's better to be feared than not at all. And, eh, well, there's, there's something to some of this, right? 
there's something to some of this, but the reality is that it's just, it's going to be one or the other. It's not going to be, it's going to be one of like seven. It's, you don't really have a choice. Like, people are going to use you, and when you smack them down for trying that, they're going to respect you. Like, some of my best friends, we fought. Like, maybe before we even met. Like, maybe that's how we met. Like, I've heard this from men before who are like, who's, who look like they might actually be men, that they fought uh, some of their best friends before meeting them. And it's like, yeah, like, men fucking fight all the time. Like, in the window, like, like, all my exes, like, love each other on the outside. Love. Um, I mean, they secretly all talk to me and attack each other. But they hang out with each other because they want their friends. Now, now, on a man level, like, men know how to be friends. And you get in a fight. And you might actually be real friends from there on. And there's some real respect gain there. But I'm not sure how in-depth women can be friends. So, so maybe they really are at the extent of their friendship. But they'll, they'll fight and they'll become friends too. And, you know, so, so that happens on both sides. But the uh, ability to see this and know where it's going, know where it's coming from, well, it, it kind of doesn't change who you are. It's not going to... If you've been uh, aware of men going their own way since you were like a toddler, like I was aware of my dad going all the way, he didn't really tell me. Maybe if he did, I would have known better. But, but I don't think it would have changed me. I was still going my own way. And like, like no bitch, no nothing is going to change my path in life. I, the only people who can change path, my path in life are these fucking white Nazi cop goons and they and they're these white rich people try to get in my way and of course I mean when I'm in a black neighborhood there might be a robbery here and there but in reality when I'm in a neighborhood like this the toughest people are like part of my gang so there's not the only robbery is what we let slide and stuff which I'm the only one fucking ever suggesting we let something slide for the simple fact that there's a better profit to be gained during this hour by doing this. That most people would rather restore the honor than care about any of that. But you... Because you have these cucks just being slaves to everyone. They're a slave to the woman. And the woman takes the money and gives it to the man. And, you know... A, a man, a man, like she wants to be fucked, right? So she takes the money and gives it to a man who knows how to fuck. And if she's a ugly, nasty, fucking fat American, she'll give it to a squirrel or a dog if it would fuck her. Um, so she necessarily isn't looking for like the best fuck in the world, but a whore, it's like she's fucking everything, like. Um, for their money, not because these little boys could ever please her or anything, because she's fucked everything and you can't please her. Um, but she she respects the strong man because the strong man will just pound the shit out of her and she'll just lay there like, ah, oh, this is so awesome. And it's like, she'll never experience that because she's been fucking simps and busters uh cucks her whole life and so she's like oh my god what is this i've never experienced this and it's, it's the same manner as if she walks up to, i i've seen some of my exes um or i've seen people uh treat these cucks like shit and then they try to treat you the same way and you're like fucking whoa calm down like Let's change the attitude or you just get the fuck out of my face right now. Like, like here, this is my personal space. Violate it if you want to be tough. 
Go ahead, violate it. You know, I'm right here. My face is right in here, you know. My heart's right here. Let me point out. Let me point out my weak points so you know, so you can come at me if you really want to. But if you're just a bitch, you stay fucking right there at that distance. Or you can get in my face and act like you're going to breathe heavy on me. You're going to breathe all that nasty, stank dick breath you've been fucking sucking on me. But when you don't bow down like the cup, they're like, oh my god, they like melt from that alone. Like, like how to make a bitch melt? Money, strength, fucking seizure inducing orgasms, love, uh, something, even though they invented the love talk, um, some, like, it's possibly the women are brainwashed by that themselves because it's on TV and everything on TV is what's in a woman's mind. And uh, it's possible that it has something to do with the kid because a woman, unless she's a fucking uh, a fat addicted, TV addicted, crack addicted piece of shit, uh, alcohol addicted, whatever, um, and she generally, like, gives everything to the child. So she obviously has some sort of emotional attachment. But it's not to the cuck male who's breeding. It's not to the male who's breeding. It, it's only, like, something about caring for the young. And um, we can see in the animal world that that love exists. Because the tiger it takes care of its young until it's about three years old and then goodbye. So you have the cock and he does so many things. Well, he does one or two things in the world. Or three. He acts like a cock. He provides a whore with money. He provide, or a slut or a prostitute or one of you good women who just yeah. Hide behind the word good. <laughs> or maybe a real good person. Maybe a cut gets with a good person, but kind of the way the world works, they kind of put opposites together. And the more I chase someone like me, the less they like me. It's weird. It's like, wait a minute, like, don't you understand we're exactly the same people and we both have an ego problem that can be fed by ourselves? And I. It's weird how opposites can pull together. Like, the cuck can pull in one of the hottest prostitutes. The cuck's working real hard making, you know, let's say he's a lawyer. I, I hate saying stuff that might be related to something I know because I there's stuff I don't know that it's equally parallel. All over. Pattern everywhere. Everywhere. Repetitive pattern. So you have the cuck providing, you know, Let's say he's a lawyer making 300000 a year in America. That's a lot of money. And he can... He's got to work all the time, though. The wife is a beautiful, hot lady. And I suspected this kind of, of my ex. But at the same time, I've literally lived with these people. And then I've literally had orgies with such people. So, so I know it exists. And many times, women with... Cucks come to me. I am what they're missing. If you're with a cuck, I am exactly what you're missing. I am, I am what they can never provide you with. And uh, so because they're working on being a mole and getting dollars and working for the government, they're they're obeying society's laws. Everything the TV says they do too. So like. And everything you say, they do. They, you're like, let's go watch the Bareback Mountain. And he's like, okay. And the woman's like, that's right. You're a good little dog. Shut the fuck up. You just talk too long. And you're like, I'm sorry, I talk too much. I talk all the time. But Bareback Mountain really sounds like a good movie. It, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Literally, this is how the cock gets treated, too. I've watched it. 
the whole move over and over. In fact, I get like not fully understanding the cycles and not even being aware of them yet and that that maybe when something is askew for someone else like maybe that's not all their fault like when you treat someone like shit someone might see that and think you're treating someone like shit but it could be that that piece of shit tried to rob you, tried to kill you, tried to rape you, tries to all the time. But you don't know that. And you're just like, stop peeing, treating him like a piece of shit. It's like, well, and, and one way to reform a piece of shit is by treating them like a piece of shit. Like, if they don't want to learn by being told, you have another option. You could fucking pound it into them. That's the American way. That's the empire way. That's the white USA way. That's why their parents beat the fuck out of their children. And that's why their children these days are useless and stupid and fat and ugly and, and cocked out and... They're losing all their lands because they took away their parents' ability to beat sense into them. That's part of the reason. It, it, but it's a complete cycle. Good luck destroying the cycle, especially without being able to listen to everything that I that anyone says about the fall of the Empire, but especially me, because who else is talking about how the Empire falls in these times? You have to look back at the past like I did to understand it. And they're all talking about the fall of the Empire, but they're talking about it in different ways. They're not even telling you, hey, this is what... They are sometimes telling you, hey, this is what caused the fall of the Empire, right? Like, you're acting like sissies. Men cutting off their dicks and stuff like that. It's like, okay, yeah. But you got to be completely honest, and they're never... So they're not really trying to address the issue. They just want to whine about it. They're like, faggots and third faggots. But they're really faggots. It's like... Why, like, the only reason I dislike gay people is because they hit on, because men fucking hit on anything. Men will hit on dogs. They'll try to fuck squirrels and cats. I mean, some women do, too, apparently. I mean, they fuck men, and look at most of these men. Most of these men look like fucking, dude, fucking diarrhea in a bag. Another reason they get cucked out. It's because... Seriously, men, look at most men. Unless you're gay, that's the most ugly thing on earth. Like, there are hotter dogs than there are men in many instances. And I don't mean that's gross, but I don't, you know, of course, mean it sexual. Um, I'm not like a man who would just want to have sex with squirrels and cats and dogs uh, because... But, but that is the one thing about gays that bothers me. But that, that's not, like, anti-gay, right? Um, that's just... I'm fucking sick of fucking... People I'm not interested in hitting on me. It makes me fucking ill. So you have the cocks who work for the box. And you have the slots who... Are just kind of like community pussy handouts, and you have prostitutes who tr who value themselves. And in prostitution, I also consider most married women this whole act of ask the feminists this whole act of going into a a place having your man spend a hundred thousand dollars on a wedding. Having, having your favorite god, be it Zeus or Cthulhu or whoever consecrated and have your favorite government, be it Adolf Hitler or Donald Trumpstein or, or Mao Zedong, he's got to approve it too and tax it and it's like, it's such faggotry and slavery and cuckdom and then you got to give them the you gotta kill some black people to steal a useless trinket called the diamond. And just to show your appreciation for the for the prostitute. 
Um, so you have those people, and then you have people who are possibly ignorant, though I'm not sure how ignorant a woman can be. They say they mature faster mentally, so maybe they know what's going on by like six. And then, of course, maturation faster means um, stunted growth later, because that whole awakening period where you think you don't know anything is the only period where you ever learn anything once you like I said once you move from thinking and listening to talking you have shut off your learning for the most part if you if you're a professor talking for 12 hours a day you are no longer learning anything really and so that contains that too but this is what's going on and I know a lot of women get mad at this, but, but I know at the end of the day, they love it. Because they're like, wow, why is there a man telling the truth? They're like, wow, it's the first honest man ever. I'm like, wow, that man really knows what I'm doing with these little bitches. And then so they take the cuck's money and they buy me a, a new shirt with it. <laughs> I didn't even have to choose this shirt. Like, maybe I'm a little biased because a lot of my shirts probably come from such situations. Wow, look at this. Look at these pants. Wow. Pants, too. The pants, too. I'm not sure if the socks, too. Um, the shorts, I think I bought on my own. And... The underwear I bought on my own. I'm actually wearing underwear today. <sighs> what about the hairband? No, I, I think I bought all my hair products myself, except for that dryer. Um, but what, the pants, mm, I don't know what really happened there. That money did come from someone else. That person was taking money from Cucks. Definitely. At, like, Everything in their life was just cucks bowing down to her. So, when you get with the high class women, that is like generally where most of their ability to be high class comes from. Is because most men are cucks. Like, most, most men are cucks. At least in this white community. At least in the white area. Now, I see with black people, black people don't always get on their knees and start trying to suck their women's dicks and shit. And, like, that's pretty cool. I like that, man. I, li I like their ability to be men. But, uh, yeah, this shirt comes from exactly the, one of these situations where I was living with a porn star who was also, you know, cucking men. Like, I mean, a porn star's already cucking tons of men. She might be getting fucked, but she's taking everyone's money. But in other ways, she was cucking men. And so that shirt arrives, derives from that situation. It also derives from the situation of these people being in my life every second of the day, right? Like, ever since I can look I'm looking back and it's like these people I'm telling you control everything I'm not a hater or an anti-semite they're everywhere I know this because they're in my life you can't think without them and I'm trying to attempt to break you free of that control but I, but I think you know they were having a discussion with me yesterday and it's like if they if everyone else is the complete slave to the to the Jewish leaders, like, literally, like, the humans are, like, some sort of flesh puppets they created in test tubes, then my goal of making the flesh puppets be able to work, I'm literally, like, I, robot here, trying to teach the other robots how to think, and there, while there's, it seems futile, except for they're really scared of it, like, you've seen when I confronted the InfoWars reporter, um, 
he, he was really scared of me trying to awake his little flesh demon. Although she looks like she could have been one of them as well, and she probably was. Caitlin Bennett. Weirdish name. Name begins with a K. Hanukkah. You know, all that stuff. K -k -k -k. They love that nasty salmon language. And, of course, he was kind of, you well, know, he was going to be her cock. And it's like, I, I, I was trying to figure out what he got the most mad about. It's like a strong man standing up in front of the whore. Just like, literally, that's a problem. And, and, and the woman, I, I don't think most of these men are even smart enough to realize that. Especially the cocks who are, like, willingly giving me their women sexually. They, uh. I don't think they realize that that means right away their woman becomes mine. Like, once you have sex with me, you become mine. There's, there's a few people who just discuss it. Like, if you discuss me, like, and we have sex, or you're really lame and we have sex, like, no, not at all. I'll make you dislike that encounter. If you make me feel uncomfortable, yeah. Um, that... Why are we having sex if you make me feel uncomfortable? Sounds like something you're pushing on me. Or I'm pushing too fast myself. And then if you're a cop, I'm also like weirded out. But of course, I'm uncomfortable. But these cocks pushing their women out. Like literally one time I stopped having sex with uh, a cock's wife. Because I was like, I think your husband like would get mad if we kept going on. So like we won't. It's like we were having sex for like an hour, and like he was like fucking the person who I was hanging out with, and they were done having sex in like five minutes or ten minutes or something. And this like an hour later, and like I'm nowhere near like done having sex, and I'm like, yeah, we should quit. Like I didn't realize, you know, I was like 16, and these people were inviting me into their orgy, so I didn't. I'm like a a baby with my eyes open. But that's America, you know. 16 year old having orgies with an adult. With adult females. We're not allowed to discuss that. But. In my newborn babe mind. I was like we should stop having sex. Because this guy's going to get jealous. But it's like. and it, it made me. I look back. It's like they must. At least they have a woman touching them. Because if. If that woman had only touched me and had never had the time to touch him, like, he would have never had an experience with a woman and he would be alone and that would be that. If he didn't have money to offer a woman, he would be alone and that would be that. No woman would touch him for any other reason. And, but... At that time, I was like, well, we should quit. I, he's going to get jealous because I know how people act. Like, when it comes to sex and love with me, like, it's like, it's a like game over. Um, like, I, I'll definitely turn families against family if you want me to have sex with your wife. Like, your wife's going to want to leave you. Um, I shouldn't say that because I still can kind of, like, I still kind of, like, live this lifestyle. There is no other lifestyle. What, what other woman am I going to date? Like, there is no women without a cuck. Uh, whether she calls him a husband, a boyfriend, a friend, or a lose, the loser who won't stop calling her. They all seem to have this. And the prettier they are, the more they are. Like, I was kind of, like, upset because my... La one of my last exes was like famous and you know world famous and so like literally her whole day was like men sending her dick pics and it's like I was like discrediting her for that it's like well I should have just been like happy and been like 